Like I've been talking about, you're starting to see a surge in NFT, metaverse, gaming, that type of narrative. This is all within the last 13 hours. We talked about this on yesterday's live stream. Sandbox and Decentraland both had over 400% volume increase in the last 48 hours. So let's discuss Decentraland, which is going to be the OG metaverse project in the crypto space. But before we get into any of this, none of this is financial advice. I'm not paid by the Decentraland team in any way. And I am currently invested in Decentraland at the making of this video. If you want to come trade with me, there are still 12 spots left in the Epic trading floor for the All Access membership for anyone that's interested. I'll tag the link in this video at the top and in the description as well. And that will give you access to everything. Timeline, courses, community, members only live streams, trading floors, you name it. So without further ado, roll the intro and let's get this video started. Now Decentraland is currently ranked number 99th on Coin on the top 100 list. So just making the cut, sitting at about 65 cents, $1.2 billion market cap, lots of room for growth, 1.8 billion circulating supply out of 2.1 billion. And that's total and max. So it's finite, it's deflationary and majority of the circuit and the majority of the circulating supply is already released. So we won't have to worry about that or any sort of deflation of price because of circulation being released into the market. Now, technically, this is the OG in the space. You can see they've been around since 2017. And in 2021, they exponentially beat what they did in 2017. So I'm looking to potentially see this next year going into 2025, hopefully seeing the same growth exponential that we saw from 2017 to 2021. And most people don't realize that this project has been around for so long doing this. And this is this is also a cross chain metaverse similar to Sandbox. So Ethereum, BNB and Polygon, a little more of the OG blockchains, especially with BNB and Ethereum being the major host for Decentraland. And then as far as categories, entertainment, NFT, metaverse, play to earn, simulation games, this one also is part of Animoca Brands portfolio and the alleged SEC securities list. So I'd be under the assumption that because Gary Gensler is stepping down, a lot of these projects that are stuck in this alleged SEC securities category are finally gonna see some resolution in those, in those lawsuits and in those cases. So because of that, you're probably starting to see a lot more volume flowing into these potential assets that have a lot of value, but might have been, you know, let's say pushed down or ceiling because of the securities asset from the SEC, like XRP, for example. Now, Decentraland is a really fun metaverse to use that I would say it has a little more of a, a basic Fortnite feel to it, whereas Sandbox feels more like Roblox and more like Minecraft. This has more of that Fortnite feel, kind of open world, a little bit cleaner on the graphics, but it is a little bit heavier, I'll say that. In comparison of the two, I would say this one is a little bit slower, so you want to make sure you have a faster computer if you want to be using Decentraland and be able to use it at its highest potential and highest capability. So some of the highlights of Decentraland, being able to hang out with friends, being able to create your world. Essentially, if you buy a piece of land, you can create the world that you want. And knowing that it's all driven by community is one of the biggest plays. It's basically a decentralized metaverse if you want to look at it that way. Tons of different skins and ways to customize yourself. And if you want to go through the full docs, I will tag this in the video as well. So you can go through this and see everything that goes about Decentraland, the world, the markets, the essentials, the grants, so on and so forth. I always like to go through this, especially if I'm going to be investing in a project. I kind of want to know what's going on in the back end. So that's why I like to tag the docs in these videos. All in all, this will be one of the more popular metaverses going into 2025, though. Now, when you're looking at the chart, you can see we are still testing prices that we saw back in 2021, and we're still well within the range of 2022 to 2023, which were the bear market prices. So as a long-term GC opportunity with volume inflow, this does have a really good upside potential. Now, if, for example, you wanted to test all-time high on this project from current price, you're looking at about an 858% move just to get to the all-time high. If that breaks, obviously you go into price discovery mode and then the sky's the limit. It all comes down to the total market cap in the crypto space. But as a play to the top side, I do believe that something like Decentraland can hit those 2021 all-time highs and really play into 2025. We saw the exponential growth from 2017 to 2021. If they're still building and doing everything and they get off that alleged SEC list, I don't see why they would not at least test the 2021 high and potentially break into 2025. Also, the fact that they have a majority of their circulating supply in could tell me that there's a good chance that it'll test 2021 too, because sometimes these projects, they'll get close and then they'll release tokens and they'll release half the supply, which will dock price down 50% naturally. But you're not going to have to deal with that with Decentraland. 
So all in all, I am bullish on this. I'm bullish on the metaverse. And like I was saying in the beginning of this video, you're starting to see more of an uptick in uh, macro news for metaverse gaming entities and things like that. We haven't seen anything about them over the last few months. And that's why everyone's been calling them dead and boring and stuff like that. I like to invest in things when they're boring. So I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention before it really starts to pop off and everyone and their mom starts talking about metaverse, NFT, and gaming. So this will wrap up this video on MANA. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments. If you're not in the Epic Trading Floor, go join the Epic Trading Floor. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one.